Hi everyone, Said here. I hope you are doing well. Today's video is about PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how to design these amazing slides in PowerPoint. You can download the template for free in the description. So let's design it together. First, press Ctrl A and delete these text boxes. Now, right click on the background and choose Format Background. In this window, select Gradient Fill and remove these two spots. By using the eyedropper tool, set these colors for the spots. Make sure to select the radial type and this direction. But the saturation of colors is too much. Let's increase the transparency for both colors. Perfect. Now draw a rectangle and remove the outline from it. By holding the control and shift keys down, Make three copies of it exactly beside each other. Keep in mind, holding the shift key helps you to transform the selected shape on a straight line. So if I release the shift key, you can transform it in any direction. Anyway, select all the shapes and by pressing Ctrl G, group them. Now increase the size of it and adjust it like this. Now you can ungroup them. You might ask why first I grouped them and then increase the size of them. If I hadn't grouped them, the order of rectangles would have been messed up during the adjustment. So we have to first group them and after adjustment, ungroup them. Let's add gradient fill for all the shapes with the help of this color palette. In this case, we are going to use the linear type in this direction. Now select all the shapes and add drop shadow to all of them. Set blur amount to 25 and distance to 12. But it seems there is something wrong because I can't see the drop shadows properly. To solve this problem, activate the selection pane and change the order of each shape. For example, select this shape and change its name to one and drag its layer to the top. Repeat this for other shapes according to their order. Now I can see the drop shadows properly. Perfect. Now from insert tab add some text boxes and type your titles. For the main title you can add a drop shadow to the text. So select text options and add a drop shadow in this direction. Play with the properties to find your willing result. From the Insert tab, click on Icons and add some suitable icons to your slide. Select all the items in each shape and align them to the center. Now draw a rectangle and color all the shapes with it. And also add a drop shadow to it. Set the blur amount to 25 and distance to 12. With the help of eyedropper, choose a darker color from the background and remove its outline. Now you can send it back. Ok, so far so good. Select the slide in the slide ribbon and by pressing Ctrl D, make 5 copies of it. Go to each slide and remove extra items from each slide according to their order. In the last slide, remove everything but the main title of each shape. Select all of them and rotate them 90 degrees. Remember, when you are selecting multiple text boxes, how to select the first text box is important. I mean, you have to click on the border, not inside the box, then hold the control key down and select other text boxes. For other text boxes, you don't need to exactly select the border, you can also click inside the box. Anyway, while all of them are selected, increase the font size and choose a darker color, and align them to the middle. Now copy all of them and paste them into each slide and delete the extra ones. Also, delete the last slide. We don't need that anymore. Go to the first slide and delete the descriptions. And instead of it, add numbers. 
Now click once on one of the slides in the slide ribbon and by pressing Ctrl A, select all the slides. Let's add morph transition to all of them. For the last step, select the rectangle in slide 2 and flip it horizontally. Repeat this for slide 4 as well. Now your PowerPoint is ready. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for additional upcoming videos. Alright, it was all for today's video. I'll see you in next video.